Hey, it's TQ. Uh, JQ's not here, but I traded him in for three <laughs> Chicago sisters, three of my favorite Chicago sisters, the Duggan sisters, uh, here with their brand that we first, you know, we first teamed up with you nine years ago, yeah, almost to the day. It was about a, nine years and one month ago, if I remember. Yeah. We wanted to bring them in and just say hello because I feel like this is a brand that represents the best of what we sell. Uh, it's a brand that I believe in. It's a brand that I use, my family uses, that we've recommended literally to thousands and thousands of people at this point. Um, and it works. It really took three very special sisters coming together to create something that is one of the most unique products that we sell out of the 15,000 that we do. Wow, so, thank you. So thank you for doing that. Um, yeah, I want to thank you for joining us today and for continuing to make your amazing products. And I hope we're doing biz, biz, uh, videos more than every nine years, but for <laughs> yes. a long, long time in the yeah. future. Amen. Right? Amen. Right? Amen. So, we agree. We awesome. Look, we look forward to it. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, the inspiration for our brand was really our own lives. Uh, Annie and I had been like, catastrophically ill and we went on a journey, as they say, right, to restore our health. And part of what that journey incorporated was studying naturopathic medicine. Mm -hmm. And um, really a big part of the studying within everything naturopathically is done with botanical herbs, right? And you studied products. And we were really taken with that part of the curriculum, um, how your lymphatic system, right, that 75% of you that's water, how it's impacted by toxic products. So we were just running a small healing center on the south side of Chicago, primarily servicing our neighbors because we tragically live in a cancer epicenter. Yeah. And we uh, found that we couldn't, nobody was using a natural deodorant because they couldn't find one that worked. Mm -hmm. And exactly. I said, if I make you a natural deodorant that I know works, because I've made it for myself for years, will you wear it? And so that was it. We started making it for the clients who came to our healing center. And then we really just went out on the weekends to art fairs and parish festivals and science fairs and stuff yeah, yeah, yeah. just to supplement our income. Yeah. And we started selling our little Life Stinks deodorant. And it was apparent day one, day one, that that's what people were really taken with. More than all the services we were offering at the Healing Center, they wanted a natural deodorant that worked. Life Stinks. There you go. Well, I'd say that our very first product, we started with the Lavender line, right? And we knew from day one that we were gonna be environmentally sound, that we were gonna be a dry powder in a can so that people could keep refilling it and that that would distinguish us from everybody in the marketplace. And we really just had the lavender line at that mm -hmm. point. And then Annie did this thing and she <laughs> booked us in. It's my fault. 85 shows, 85 public shows, our first year in business, everything from parish festivals, farmers markets, all the way up to the prestigious one-of-a-kind show here in Chicago. With 30 shows yeah. in the industry is called the Death Walk. Yeah. 30 so shows by 85 death walk. shows, you know. We were half dead. dead. <laughs> we were we half, half dead, dead, but we knew what our customers wanted and we knew what they were looking for. And some of the other things then, um, we originally started, as Mary said, with the can, but then we also added in our stink stick, okay? And what our stink stick is, is a booster that takes any variety of our deodorant and makes it stronger. So you don't necessarily need more of our dry powder deodorant, you need the stick. So again, revolutionary within the deodorant world. But also I think by doing that number of uh, farmers markets, school fairs, et cetera, you begin a conversation with your exactly. customers and they tell you what they need. We did not have a traveler. And they made it really clear, I will not be traveling with this big can. And so you're like, traveler, no problem, we've got it. And so it was really a good training ground to be out in public, yeah. us interacting with people in all these different settings before we said, okay, it's time to approach the stores. I knew that I wanted us to launch with MERS and everybody said to us, you will never ever get your products at MERS Apothecary. And I was like, watch me. But I was really nervous and I spent an entire day writing a letter to Abdul, but I didn't know his name was Abdul and I didn't know who owned the store. I just knew that this store was it for me and that if I could launch here, I could sell my products anywhere in the world. So at the end of the day, I felt really bad because I was like, who spends an entire day writing a letter to a store owner? But I knew I had to get it right. At 8.30 the next morning, the phone rang. It lit up, Mars Apothecary. I grabbed it. And Abdul Kayyum said, 
This is Abdul Kayyum. I'm the owner of MERS Apothecary. I want to talk to you about your product line, right? You can't know how everyone had said. They will never read your letter. They have every product in the world that matters. You're not going to get in. And that was just, that really for us, we were on the map. We had a long conversation with Abdul about why we do what we do. And he said, I have studied your website. We had a 45 page website. And he said, I believe in stories. I believe in your story. And I believe that story sells product. I want you here tomorrow at 1130. And I'm gonna meet with you and review your product line. And the whole time I was talking to Abdul, I'm writing these notes to my sisters. And there's this one note that I still have at home. And it says, I love this guy. And I held it up to my sisters because he got us. Yes, he yes, got us yes, yes. immediately and why it mattered. So that was, that was uh, nine years ago. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, the meeting went really well. <laughs> and um, yeah. And we were uh, at that point, MERS had a beautiful boutique uh, ground floor, State Street um, Macy's. And that meant a lot to us because our grandma had worked in that store for 30 some years. Yeah. So when we walked into what we still were calling Marshall Fields at that point to install our product line in the MERS boutique, I had to go to the ladies room because I was crying so hard that <laughs> mascara was running. Because <laughs> wow, look at this. So when we got started with MERS Apothecary, Anthony, the president in this generation, was actually on vacation. Um, and his dad had said, you know, here's a handshake. We, this is how we're families. We're families. Yeah, this, yeah. this is how I do business. Our, this is how we do yeah. family businesses. Mm -hmm. And we, you know, we made a promise to each other and a commitment to work together. Um, but what happened is we didn't give them the product that week because we were waiting for Anthony. Um, but what happened is that very weekend, Abdul was doing his magic in the store, helping customers all day long. And people started coming in and asking for a natural deodorant. And at that point, he'd tried our product and he knew that it worked unlike any product he'd ever seen in his mm -hmm. whole career of mm -hmm. trying everything. So in good conscience, he kept telling people, well, we're going to be getting this great new product. But being a really smart businessman and somebody who wants to take care of his customers, he called us the next morning. He's like, this is crazy. You need to bring this stuff now. Mm -hmm. um, Anthony, Anthony believes in it. He's got, you know, he trusts me. Bring the stuff to the store right now. And, and, and I can remember Abdul saying to me, and I said, well, how much should we bring? He's like, it's your product. You sell it. You know how fast it moves. Put together a proposal. Read me the proposal. And I'm sure we'll be in agreement. So I put together such a big installation that I was kind of holding my breath and telling him. He goes, oh, no, that's not enough. And he multiplied this and this and more of this and this and this. And we drove it down the next day. And it was crazy because, you know, we, we agreed, like I said, this is going to be a great big launch for us. And we thought we had enough for a whole six week promotional period. Like, mm -hmm. let's just, you know, blow the socks off. Lincoln get, and Yeah, Lincoln and State downtown. Street. Let's get things going. Um, but what ended up happening, and we didn't even have it online yet because Fort Anthony was out of town, so we're waiting for that to happen. But just with the word of mouth and the fabulous salesmanship and just the fact that people at MERS so care about their customers mm -hmm. that Abdul picked up the can to every single person who came into the store and told them how excited he was about that they had finally found a natural deodorant that worked and that it worked he for them. He put his reputation behind yes. it and yes. that was everything. And, and he, you know, so he, he reached out, he you know, shared this product with his customers. It was a game changer. He really felt that and in all sincerity, he shared that with his customers. And then he did what any smart person did. He said, he was like, if you love it, tell 10 people. And right. he literally And created, if you don't, you call those sisters at home because this phone number rings in their rings house. Rings in our house, <laughs> right? And so, you know, what was great is that that six week order, 72 hours later, Abdul called and said, it's gone, it's, it's gone. all gone. You need to bring more now. Um, so what we, again, in the same way that we had experienced it when we got started in the farmer's markets and we, you know, we went out there and cautiously started having these conversations. It was the conversations that customers wanted to have. Mm -hmm. And Abdul discovered the same thing. He put his recommendation on the line. He let customers know that there was finally a natural deodorant that worked. And people were like, hallelujah, that's it. And they responded mm -hmm. you know, to, to having that availability. And um, they also started bringing in their girlfriends. So his promise of, if you like it, bring in 10 friends. They, they did. They started bringing in their friends. Right. Um, so I think that's something that all of our customers have blessed us with both here at MERS and online across the country is we've totally been spread by word of mouth, you know, that it's really is people telling other people, hey, listen, I found this one that worked. Money, 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 money. Only 5% of investment capital goes to women in business. If you're a woman of color, it's less than 2%. That's it. You need money to grow your business. So that remains an incessant challenge. Um, honey. Yeah.
I would the, say. the villa do it. And and our bless and our blessing has been in addition to wonderful partners, you know, like MERS mm -hmm. and, and customers that have helped spread the word, is our customers have invested in us. Yes. Um, yes. You know, that because you can't go to the capital market or you can't go to a bank when you're starting business, especially as a woman owned business, even though we were self funded and debt free, um, that we we're, our customers said, well, if you're looking for investors, we believe in you, we yeah. believe in this. And so we're very honored that we don't come from a wealthy family, so the concept of a friends and family offering isn't gonna get us <laughs> real far. Um, but, you know, former colleagues who believed in our skill set mm -hmm. and right. believed in that, you know, we would do the work that's necessary, mm -hmm. that's a great honor in our life, but that mm -hmm. our customers said, mm -hmm. I believe in you. Mm -hmm. And what that they wrote that, what do you need? And that they wrote the checks. And that's helped mm -hmm. us to stay away mm -hmm. from some really toxic financing situations yes. and to really make sure that we know, you know, we have a sign on our, in our, um, in our office, then we put in my signature whenever I write to our investors you know, from President Lincoln that says, you know, I had a friend in, who believed in me and I didn't have the courage to let him down. And that's why I'm a success. You know, and that's why I'm a success mm -hmm. today. And you know, so it's it's all of our customers. Abraham Lincoln, deodorant makers. <laughs> it all comes together here in the state of Illinois, right? No, but it is true that if you look at that on any day, you know, that you have to, despite all the challenges of it being women in business and um, mm -hmm. you know, you asked about women in business and challenge. Money, money, money is the first thing. But we've had plenty of condescension. We've had, you know, no. um, suppliers who thought they could pull one on us because, you know, we weren't, you mm -hmm. know, guys in the industry where we really had to be tough um, and let them know we expected the same quality as their male suppliers, mm -hmm. um, where we had the same standards, you know, mm -hmm. where we where we knew how to you know, negotiate deals. Um, you know, we've had condescending moments where people literally wouldn't give me the bid because he wanted me to walk me through it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, wouldn't wouldn't answer my questions. I'm like. I actually asked the question, so I was smart enough to ask the question, I bet I can handle the answer. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Best thing that has come out of working together is the fact that as three sisters, we're three out of 11, okay, um, that we, not only do we work together, but we live together. And so we've been able to ride this whole journey, the highs, the lows, um, living above the shop, um, the, without killing each other. Without killing each other, yes. Without <laughs> killing our family doctor, I well, we still haven't killed each other. No, I mean, but the, the best thing is that we're three very different people. We didn't mm -hmm. set out to be deodorant makers and natural products manufacturers. Mm -hmm. We're, you know, multilingual business people, you know, college professors, mortgage bankers. You know, we had this vast background before we became the Duggan sisters. Mm -hmm. And so it's really fun to pull out all of those different little hats you know, um, and as a small family business, you get to do way more than you'd ever do sitting in a cubicle, um, yeah. working for the man or for somebody else. And so it's just been um, a terrific honor to work with my sisters. I think they'd say the same, mm -hmm. amen. Um, I would agree, it's an honor. Right, you know, and we've all lived in various places around the world. So to be able to come back together as yeah. sisters, as business women, mm -hmm. um, to create something that we're very proud of um, and to have each other's backs, so, you know. And don't you think a lot of it has to do with, it's this chapter in our lives, Yes. right? So I'm 66 years old. My sisters are 17 years younger than me, nine years younger than me. This isn't something I was gonna do when I was 25 or 30. You get to a place in your life where the timing is correct and everybody's gone out and done their own individual thing, mm -hmm. brought those skill sets back, so it's that timing. And I always say, you know, to those things you said, it's like God had a plan. We each yes. live very different lives. Mm -hmm. um, and so what we need to run a company and maintain a company and take good care of customers, we learned on those different paths That's and they right. come together. You know, even dear friends who know us very well are always just amazed like, it, you guys really are the, like the perfect combination of things. Mary mm -hmm. with words and colors and design and Annie with her finance background and mine with my technology background that it's like God just knew right up to the last days before we joined forces, what did we need to learn to bring it to the table? That's right. And then we've learned more since then. Exactly, yeah, constantly. My favorite product, hands down, is our Lavender Regular Strength Original Formula. Um, the thing that I love about Life Stinks is that although we developed it for the armpits, it's multi-purpose. And so I use it Pretty much every other day is dry shampoo. It's fantastic. You mm -hmm. sprinkle it in your hair. Um, you know, there's uh, not many deodorants out there that are gonna tell you that you can also use it as dry shampoo. I also use it for my feet, athlete's foot, foot fungus, foot odor. Don't have any of those, um, but I do work out of doors a lot. And so the other great thing about Life Stinks is that um, it's also, um, it, by deodorizing your feet, it also helps with 
bug control, right? And you know we've got our Life Stings bug repellent. And what a lot of people don't understand is that bugs are attracted to foot, that it's in a refillable stainless steel can, hands down. No plastics in landfills. I've got it for life. When it runs out, I refill it. I mean, you just can't beat it. That's my favorite. You know, and, and my sisters got this party started before I joined them. Um, you know, and we're just so proud that as Annie mentioned, no more plastics in the time that we've been Huge. here working with MERS over the last nine years, we've managed to keep over 600,000 plastic, uh, single use plastics out of landfills. So, mm -hmm. and that's not something we can do on our own. That's our beautiful customers who've embraced this concept that you can refill your can and have one can for life. Together, we can make a difference. You know, it's not just you using your deodorant every day. It's um, what we can do together. So what my, my favorite product on uh, our product line is our bug repellent. Um, I recently gotten into gardening um, mm -hmm. and trying to yeah. like not just be chained to my desk all day, but working in our yard and getting up in the morning. Um, and I love that in our very buggy backyard, that's kind of swampy, uh, that I can put on my lotion bug repellent when I get out of the shower and go out and be out in the garden for hours. And I can see the bugs around me. I know they're there, but I can come in bite free. Um, I love that we have it in the spray formula um, because once I'm out there and I'm gardening and my hands are dirty, I'm not gonna go put lotion that's on. Right. And so I can put another layer on, or maybe I missed a spot. Um, if we're dialed up and fancy, you can put it on top of your makeup and your hair. Um, and it's something that, you know, we worked on it for several years to come up with the formulation that, you know, one thing I always say about all of our products is, it's not just that we want to create natural products, it's we want to create products that outperform chemical products. That's right. Mm -hmm. We want to be the best product available, Period. not just the best you can do when you're natural. Mm -hmm. And our bug repellent is a great example of that. Um, because we have a whole botanical blend, it's not just about mosquitoes, it takes care of ticks, chiggers, black flies, no um, all those, you know, dragonflies, different things going on. So whatever your problem is, it's gonna keep it away, but it's 10 times stronger than DEET. Mm -hmm. um, so without oh, using okay. a deadly chemical that I'm frankly not willing to use, that people mm -hmm. think they have to use to be mm -hmm. safe, mm -hmm. I can go into any environment and know that I'm safe, um, you know, from not just the pests, but from the diseases that they carry. So mm -hmm. we're very proud of that. But, you can, um, but I get to enjoy it myself every day when I head out to the garden or whether you're going to a picnic. Uh, we love it. We give it as gifts when we know brides are doing outdoor weddings. We put one on everybody's uh, table at the wedding so the gifts can enjoy it. Mm -hmm. um, and we're just so proud that, you know, like that spread the word among the customer bases. They've been the ones, of course, we tested it before we put it on the market, um, but they have taken it to some really amazing locations. Yes. I'd love to go on vacation someday. Yes, for sure. Um, but for right now, they've taken it to every national park. We've gotten letters from all over, kayaking in the bayou. Um, hiking in Costa Rica, it's been on medical missions to Africa, and consistently the letters that we get are, I went with my best friend and they came with packing deep and I came with life stings. And at the end of the vacation, everybody was wearing life stings because others were getting eaten alive despite their chemicals. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not just that it's minty fresh and you feel great when you wear it, mm -hmm. um, it it's actually that it works. actually works. Yeah, I love smart clothes. Remember, we started our business as a small healing center. We're trained in lymphatic wellness, right? So we're all focused on the 75% of you that's water on the inside, right? So when we had to six months into this program, we had to close it. We just didn't have enough time to do all the products. Uh, uh, customers are like, well, what are we gonna do now that we don't have any of your lymphatic treatments, right? Mm -hmm. So that's what a Smart Soak is. It's one incredibly powerful bath. You put the entire thing in your bathtub and it really addresses pain. Yeah. Mental pain, emotional pain, physical pain, psychological pain. Pain is a huge part of what people experience in life right now. So we love that families with children with autism buy them 12 at a time. Yeah, we ship amazing. them all over the place for families with kids with autism because it addresses anxiety disorders. I love that women use it for postpartum depression because it raises your serotonin levels and helps with uh, postpartum depression. I love that cancer patients write us amazing letters that nothing was addressing their long bone pain while they were in treatment until they started taking smart soaps. So it's kind of a serious bath. Mm -hmm. It's delightful and it's easy to do. Um, but people oftentimes forget that within your own home, this is five different ingredients in it. It's already dechlorinated, so you could do it even if you don't have filtered water. Um, you can do a tremendous amount for your health. Um, it's actually sort of a brain stimulant. So we've got them for, you know, this one wakes you up, this one puts you to sleep and the lavender, and then the eucalyptus is great when you're dealing with like allergies and congestion and stuff. So our vision for the future of the brand is, I think what we've really learned from over the last 11 years in business and nine years with great partners like MERS is, you know, that it, 
it ultimately still comes down to that customer conversation. Exactly. Um, that, and that we've worked really hard to, everything you see that we've developed came from list, having conversations with our customers, mm -hmm. adding in varieties that they needed because it addressed you know issues, um, adding in mm -hmm. strengths because they needed extra strength. Mm -hmm. Not everybody does, but those who do work glad we've got it. Adding in the stink stick, adding in the bug repellent. Um, it's been a good conversation with our customer. And so I think what we've really learned is that, you know, um, so we're working right now very hard to improve our web presence because that supports us and it supports all of our partners that if people can help find us, you know, uh, very much like we do here with Small Flower, do a great job of getting out and helping people, whatever corner of the planet or in America they're at, um, mm -hmm. find access to these beautiful products. So, so those of us who are in Chicago and are lucky enough to get to have a day and come and see MERS and have that beautiful experience, and for those who don't, they can shop on Small Flower or you know, shop with us at Duggins and we try and give them that same personal experience. Mm -hmm. um, so I think we try and use technology now to make that more possible mm -hmm. and also to use technology to reach those customers and bring them. Um, from a future expansion, because obviously we've got a great um, presence here in the US, we're working very much to expand internationally. We were selected, we won Chicago's pitch competition. So for the six major counties in the state of Illinois, we we're selected as the top com company for export because not only, you know, eight. 95% of consumers are outside of the United States. You know, so with you know, wonderful partners like Small Flower, we're covered in the US, mm -hmm. um, but it's time to really get these products um, to, to people all over the world. You know, areas that really need health, healthy bug repellent coverage, people all over the world who need a healthy deodorant. Yeah. Exactly. So export.